Hello everyone. My wife and I have decided to do a video on dog grooming. We're going to split this into two parts. This first part will be now, this video. It'll be on the first thing you need to do in grooming is to wash the dog. To wash the dog is not as simple as you may think. There's special products that you must use depending on what the dog has wrong with them or if they have anything wrong with them at all. Um, it's about the care needed during and after the wash. The second part will be on clipping the dog and the tools and maintenance required for that. So for now, enjoy this first part and look forward to you coming back to watch the second part with us. Enjoy. Yeah, my wife is getting ready to wash the dogs. We've got two little dogs. And we got a hairdryer because it's a bit cool and she wants to dry them off pretty quickly so they don't freeze to death and if she's got to do any grooming as well. Really it needs to be dry, everything needs to be dry on the dog, all the hair. One's a toy poodle and one's a can terrier toy poodle or poodle, possibly miniature cross, we're not really sure, it was a rescue dog. And Ella, the toy poodle we've had since she was a baby. So we'll get to it soon. Okay, my wife's bringing Pocket, the Canteria Poodle Cross, in to have a bath. She doesn't mind it at all. Ella's not overly keen, the toy poodle, but make sure the water is warm. Would you like to have a cold bath? No, so make the water warm. Warm as dog prefers it. You to know after a while, I imagine. I've never done it, but I know I like mine just the right way. Pocket was out sunning herself near the pool just a minute ago with a coat on, so a bit of a change for her. My wife likes to wash them in the laundry tub. Obviously, it's much better for your back. I think it's the only sensible place in the house to do it. Standing height, not bending over too much in a bathtub. With a big dog, like we haven't got a big dog, but I could imagine it wouldn't be too good for your back. Obviously, use shampoo designed for dogs. Don't want them having itchy skin or any sort of allergies from using the wrong thing. Or if they do have any problems with their skin, it's probably, I would imagine, best to go out and get something suitable for that problem, for that issue that they have. See, look at she loves it. She loves it. Such a gentle little girl. Do you only do this once or do you do it twice? Twice, okay. So this is happening. Full body wash. Obviously don't get water in their ears. Try to avoid that. Very important. All dogs get serious issues from getting water in their ears. Ear infections and... What is the other problem they get with their ears? Is it yeast infection or...? Yeah, it is yeast yeah. infection, ear infections, yes. From moisture getting in there and getting blocked. They have a very large ear canal and the water gets trapped in there. So do not spray it in the ear hole. Okay, this is the first shampoo. It's a bit greasy old pocket. Supposed to roll around and everything you can find outside. Ella's much better. Ella the toy poodle doesn't uh, tend to be as bad as Pocket is when it comes to rolling in everything she can find. Look at her, she absolutely loves it. And Tony's very gentle with her. So I think she knows she's on camera. He's staring at it. 
How's that for a star dog? It's nice when you've got a dog that just enjoys it. I think if they know you're not going to hurt them and you're gentle with them right from the start when you first do it, they will be good for you. Uh, we only got Pocket not long ago, last December, and um, she's a bit of a, what well, I would say, rescue dog. Possibly didn't have a great life. We're not sure. But, um, she wasn't as calm when we got her as what she is now. Loved her to death and makes a big difference to them. Okay, that was the second and final shampooing and should be not greasy anymore. Ready to go out in the yard and start rolling and things, but anytime soon. Once she's dry. So again, do not lift their ears up and put water in there. What you need to do with their ears is to clean them separately, like remove of hair, removal of hair on certain dogs, and certainly to. We have ear wipes I had on the film on this video at the start, and that's what you use to clean them, to wipe them out. That's the ones we use there. Obviously, there's many different types. For your puppy, depending on which country you live in, etc. There's little Ella waiting her turn down there on the floor. Say hello, Ella. There, yeah, she's rather cute. Okay, we need a towel. Look at her, she's so cute. Okay, that will do now, I think. Oh, Tony's going to dry her off. I'll come back in a sec when she starts the hairdryer episode. As you can see now, if you can hear me over the hairdryer, she's loving this. So I cut a little bit of it out. It was probably a little bit boring the first bit, you're just in a towel. A very cute dogs, even cuter when she's had a bone. Ella being the pure Bread poodle, toy poodle, she needs grooming a lot. The hair grows very quickly. Pocket. Apparently, they don't normally, we were told, they don't normally groom them too much, but we find because of the poodle in her that she still needs, you know, the feet and the, the whole body at times groomed to stop the matting. She tends to roll and everything, and her hair acts like the dog pro. Okay, here's a little bit further into it. She's getting cuter by the second. Who wouldn't agree that that's a cute dog? Check her out. Cute, cute, hey. cute, cute, she doesn't get groomed. The face doesn't get groomed. She can't see where she's going. So Some people tell you can Terry as the hair doesn't grow, but this one does, definitely. <laughs> and look at that. What a poser. Cute as. Oh, Bella's yeah. impatiently waiting her turn. She doesn't like it, but she's very concerned about her sister, Pocket. What's happening with her? I'm not sure if Pocket will be as interested when you have this your sister. This is now Pocket after Bella. her bath, and as you can see, she likes to have a bit of fun. She's probably not going to need any grooming at this particular event. Okay, she's hard to keep track of. She's a very happy dog right now. Look at her. Very attractive. Okay. Now it's little Ella's turn. Look at her. Coat off now. Big girl. She's a little sook, this one, a real baby. And as you can see how little she is, she's in this not very big washtub. 
and you could put three of her in there. They're both around nine years old, these dogs. So, very well behaved. Ella was always pretty good though, even as a puppy. What do you think, Ella? Enjoying it? So, I don't think there's much point in continuing this one too far. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to make them settle. Again, watch the ears. Better wash their head, but keep the water out of those ears. Nowhere else is an issue. They tend to get very smelly faces, so it's a bit of an issue trying to wash the head properly because, you know, they put their head in all the wrong places when they're walking around, especially when there's two of them. It's the first little layer there. Just lifted the ears up. Tony's lifted the ears up to wash the actual ears without getting the water inside. And when you rinse, same as if you took them into a swimming pool. We have a swimming pool there. You just sort of watch that you don't put them under the water or have their ears folded back when you're splashing water around. Sometimes easier said than done. They do make special things to put in ear cavity if you do take them in the in the water. Um, but best to avoid it. But it's the stuff that just like aqua ear, like the humans use to evaporate the water out. Not so easy in a dog because it's a rather large cavity in there. It's like a it's like a little cup. Very hard to get it out. Humans are a totally different design inside. There she is. Not as cute as she was before. She's getting super fluffy. It's spring here now, so it's going to be very warm very soon. Probably within the next few weeks. So. She'll have to have a haircut, and that's when we will see you people all again soon and the, to round up this video. It'll be the larger part. Okay, bye. Okay, I've just noticed something, and I asked Tony about this. Um, Ella has different shampoo, and she also has a conditioner because of her thick Medi coat. Um, and she uses these ones. These come from from just our local Aldi, which pretty well everywhere around the world has Aldi, and very good price. The reason for the difference, Tony told me, is that the other shampoo for Pocket, is she has more skin allergies than what Ella does. She tends to be a bit scratchy, uh, wants to try and itch herself all the time. So we use another one that tends to stop that happening, which I showed earlier in the video. I think Ella needs that conditioner for clipping. Yeah, oh, Tony just told me Ella needs the conditioner for... Clipping. Makes the clippers go through a lot easier. Clipping. Okay. To make the clippers go through easier if you didn't hear that clearly. I'm sure you did though. So, okay. We'll catch you later on so in the video. So what's the next process, Tony? Uh, a bit of uh, ear drops. Is that from the chemist? No. I mean from the vet? No. Just from Aldi or somewhere as well, eh? No, um, from Pet Barn or somewhere like that. Pet it's barn or somewhere, yep, yeah, some pet place, yep, yeah, not from Aldi. It's, mm. why, is it, why do you put that in the ear? Um, it's a preventative for Ella. Preventative for what? It's like aqua ear for dogs. Okay, you just know, what I mentioned just... before. This is the stuff that she puts in, like you would if you're going to get the dog wet in a swimming pool After or at the beach. A bit in, you'd go like that and give it a rub. Okay, once it's in there. Once you squirted some in, you rub, you put the ear back down and give it a rub around with that facing down so it goes in. We've never had an issue with Ella uh, in nine years because of this stuff and obviously being careful with the rinsing. She's a bit cute, but not as cute as she was before she went in the water. Catch you in part two and keep an eye out for it. It's not done just this moment, but it won't be long. Thank you.